Hey saxophones, this video is for you. I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about putting your saxophone on. The first thing you always want to do is put the neck strap on. Second thing you're going to do, bring the horn and put it on your lap and clip on right here. Always do this first. Clip it on right away so that if you happen to drop it, oh my gosh, it's still hanging, it's not gonna hit the ground, okay? After you have put the horn together and clipped it on and put the neck on, then you can add your mouthpiece, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you based on if you're sharp or flat, depending on what I hear when you play, I might ask you to slide your mouthpiece further on or further off, okay? So I might say, show me some more cork that means you're going to pull it out so that I can see more of the cork. Or I might say you need to push on, which means you need to hide the cork like that. Okay? Now let's talk about playing. Beginning saxophonists, a lot of people want to play between your legs. This is a bad habit. Don't play between your legs. Rest it off to the side of your body. Pull the neck strap to an appropriate height. See how, here, look at me at the side. See how it's hitting me like right at the mouth? and I don't have to come down to it. The horn isn't resting down here and I'm not going. A lot of beginning students do this. Don't do that. Bring the horn to you. The other thing is, if your mouthpiece is on straight and you bring it over, you're naturally gonna wanna do this. You're, this is terrible for your neck. You're gonna give yourself all sorts of neck pain. So what you do is after you have the horn situated and you have it at an appropriate height where it's hitting you right in the mouth, you just grab the mouthpiece and you rotate it a little bit to the right. Rotate a little bit to the right so that now the mouthpiece is hitting me straight, but the horn is still off to the side, okay? that's okay. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, in terms of playing, I want to rest my two front teeth on top of the mouthpiece. And then I'm just going to close my mouth gently around it. I'm using a teeny tiny little bit of skin on the back of my bottom teeth to cover my bottom teeth. You never, never want your bottom teeth to touch the reed. Never. Because then you'll get some awful squeak which we, don't, we do not want. So two teeth on top, close your mouth, and blow. And that's all there is to it, okay? Now, if you happen to blow and you're like, first off, don't poof your cheeks. Play in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror when you're first playing. Don't poof your cheeks. I'm not going. See how bad the sound of the instrument is when you poof your cheeks? Don't do that. Okay? If you're, not, if you're going and you're just getting airy, an airy sound, you have to put more air into it. You need to make the reed vibrate. And you do that by pushing more air. Okay? And that's all there is to it. Good luck, guys.